All right, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing uh, the latest trade paperback review for the Walking Dead comic book series. This is for volume number 25. Just got it in the mail today. This one is called No Turning Back. And spoiler warning for the Walking Dead comic book series, if you haven't read the contents of Volume 25, no turning back yet. This one collects issues 145 through 150, release date March 30th, 2016. Um, it was uh, preceded by uh, Life and Death, which is Volume 24, which is a crazy volume. Already reviewed this in the uh, channel, as well as every other prior trade for the Walking Dead. I've done them all. This is number 25 now, so that's quite a few. 25 videos in the channel. You can check them all out if you're interested uh, and you want to see a review for another volume. So uh, I want to thank the uh, the patrons for this one. You guys actually were the ones who uh, who were able to get this for the channel for me, so I could review it and you know eventually put it in the backdrop and all that kind of stuff. So thank you guys very much. And uh, if you want to contribute to the uh, the Patreon account, uh, you, I'll put the link in the description so you can do so. You can even even a dollar or something. It goes into stuff for the channel just like this, so that I can do you know reviews and stuff like that. There's a, a new Walking Dead comic book series Rick Grimes figure, which is on the Walking Dead.com, which uh, features this kind of mod. Uh, after time skip version of Rick, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm looking at that. I might review that, but it's a bit it's a bit pricey. It's like 60 Canadian shipped because the shipping costs a bit to ship to Canada. Um, so for this uh, volume, I've done individual reviews for each of the uh, issues as they were released for this one. And uh, this is this is a mixed trade. It has a lot of different things happening in it from beginning to end. This is basically after the events of life and death, where you see the massive amounts of uh, deaths that would be at the end of the third compendium, I believe. I don't collect the compendium. Spoiler warning, uh, when you have uh, Rick and he finds all the heads on spikes from Alpha and the Whispers and all the different characters that they've killed, um, you know, ending with, of course, the biggest one, now this is major spoilers, uh, Rosita, the baby, and of course, also Ezekiel. So this was a huge one. This is one of the most death heavy uh, trades we've ever had for it. And uh, following up after that one, this one is mostly dealing with the repercussions uh, of that. Um, you know, and then it ends with, as you can see on the cover here, Negan and Rick. And Negan is uh, giving Rick advice. It's kind of like a devil on your shoulder type uh, type deal. You know, his uh, his evil side telling telling him what to do. So it'll be interesting to see what Negan does now in the comic book series, uh, since he of course has escaped and is going to. Uh, to meet with Alpha, meet with the Whispers, and what he'll do. Is he still loyal to Rick and the others? Is he going to try to assassinate or kill Alpha? Or is he going to actually uh, try to hook up with her and be, be with her? So we open the trade, and you have Rick, and he is uh, with Michonne, Andrea, uh, Lydia, and Carl, and they're putting down the uh, the heads, so to speak, because they're zombified at this point. And, yeah, so they're, they're finishing it up. Michonne is angry. And you have a lot of kind of fighting in and amongst the group in this uh, issue between, you know, Rick and Michonne. And you have um, Lydia, who's kind of losing it. Andrea, they, they kind of get in a scuff. Michonne uh, tackles uh, Lydia at one point, And Carl points a gun at, at her. And then later on, you have kind of Lydia pointing a gun at Andrea them not knowing who to trust. You have Eugene saying that, hey, we have Alpha's daughter. You have all these different kind of um, the characters in the joint survivors not knowing how to how to respond to this and kind of at each other's throats. You even have Maggie and Rick fighting at one point in this one because they're just, uh, everybody's looking to blame somebody and uh, they're dealing with so much pain that they just become aggressive to each other. You even have Magna and you have, um, I mean, just a lot of different characters from the joint communities that are really, really upset and want blood. Um, you've got um, Maggie here who tells Rick that she executed Gregory and Rick is upset about it because he felt like, uh, you know, they are beyond that and that they're trying to kind of rebuild civilization, rebuild to the back to the usual, the, the regular world type deal and that they are above capital punishment. Uh, of course, Maggie obviously doesn't doesn't agree. And we're starting to see that transformation in the television series version of her based on what uh, Michonne says to Rick that she wouldn't want to ang anger the pregnant lady. Remember that uh, when you hear uh, a character or someone in life say something about someone else, they're using that conversation to 
influence our opinion of Maggie in the TV series, Lauren Cohen, from just, oh yeah, she's, she's the pretty girl, as they used to call her. You know, that's what Michonne referred to her as originally, the pretty girl. Now referring to her as like a, um, uh, an authoritarian, uh, authoritative type figure who she doesn't want to anger and upset. So kind of setting up these parts later on that we see. Um, Eugene, we have her daughter. This is a nice, uh, I, I like this uh, splash, uh, splash page with him. Um, so let's see what else we got here. So there's all that. And uh, you've got um, Michonne who goes to Rick's house. And at, at a time, there we, we weren't sure if she was going to try and do something or something. And basically, Rick asks her to, let's see, asks them to get the others out of here. Uh, and they leave. They go to the hilltop. That's uh, Andrea, Lydia, and Carl head there. And not really go into hiding, but they, they kind of get out of there because they don't want... Uh, Eugene or some of the others to try and, and get Lydia and then try to take over, do something. This also includes issue 150, which is Betrayed, which is one of the biggest sellers The Walking Dead has ever had. It was actually near the top of the comics list for that um, for that month, which is great. That means it beat out most of your other titles like Spider-Man, Avengers, and that kind of stuff. It's kind of insane to think that, a, that a independent can do that with almost no advertising budget or thing like look at the advertising budget for batman v superman you go to the store i saw a cereal box <laughs> with uh, batman cereal chocolate strawberry superman cereal i don't know if any of you guys have seen this it just gets ridiculous at a point it's like okay you used to sell cups now you're selling cereal and that's just one of the things i mean there's a million the advertising is is crazy the commercials everywhere and everything the fact that the walking dead comic book series is able to outsell you know, comic books like that with basically no advertising budget pretty much, almost next to none, shows you the kind of quality you're dealing with. Um, so, and Kirkman's skills, man, crazy skills. He's got, got skills. None talk skills, bow hunting skills. Girls only want guys that have great skills. Uh, what movie? Right in the comments below. Huh? <laughs> and uh, we got Alpha who uh, is caught crying by one of her men. And then she proceeds to kill him afterwards and say that he challenged her. Even though he didn't, but just because he caught her sort of showing emotion. Which I guess would make her kind of a hypocrite. Because she'd kind of be breaking her own rules. Which is to be kind of more animalistic. And uh, like the, the, um, uh, the whispers are. They're very wild. Um... Then we have uh, Dwight, who, again, looks a lot like Daryl in the comic book series, man. And he's with the, uh, the Saviors. And um, then he, he decides to, to quit and takes uh, Lucille and then leaves for Alexandria, which we, we, we see now as he's, as he's there. Some other fights breaking out and craziness happening. Rick being attacked, like I said, in issue 150 is included in this near the end. And then eventually him asking Negan for uh, ne asking Negan for advice on what to do. And Negan tells him that just make people feel secure. That's really what they want anyway. So it's a, it's a great trade. I also like the, uh, the speech here with the Rick Grimes. Everybody's cheering for Rick. This is really cool. It's a great trade. It's just that it's got so much happening in it and uh, so many different things after, after what happened with the, uh, the Whispers. Rick getting uh, attacked and everything. Craziness, man. Um, so I'm going to give this one a 9. It's, it's a great trade. Um, issue 150, I know there were some people that were a little bit disappointed with 150 because it felt a little bit like some of the stuff we've seen before with Rick biting on the neck and stuff like that. kind of seemed almost a little bit repetitive, but that's kind of like what the theme of it is, is like going back to the way things were and not wanting to go back to the way things were and it showing where he was at before in this extreme state of scarcity and, and having to fight for his life and then fighting in a similar fashion uh, as well. So um, I think that's about all I'm going to say for the uh, the trade. Uh, it's a good one. Uh, no, t no turning back. It's, it's not the best trade ever, I don't think. But, um, you know, it's a good part of The Walking Dead, and it's just kind of getting things going with this new threat of the Whispers after they have launched their initial their initial attack. Alpha has launched her initial strike, and just very excited to see what Kirkman has in store for Negan, because I do think he's one of the best characters in The Walking Dead and the best villain uh, we've had so far. Yes, I even like him much, much better than Alpha. I think he's a lot of fun. So excited to see what happens with that. So um, if you guys got a chance to read the, uh, the trade, you can go ahead and uh, write your comments below on what you thought about it. Um, there is a Walking Dead Alien uh, issue number one, so I'm going to check that out as soon 
as I can, and I'll do a review for uh, for you guys for that. I haven't read it yet, so I gotta I gotta go into that, and then I'll do a review afterwards. Uh, and that'll be it for this one. Of course, uh, we'll continue with uh, volume 26 when that gets released. Let me just check the release date here on it real quick for us. Uh, 151 to 156, and uh, is it to be announced? It's yeah, it's to be announced right now according to the wiki. So maybe there's a date, but it's not published yet. Of course, the issue's got to get released first and everything, then they got to compile it into the uh, into this version. So yeah, that'll be it for this one, guys. We'll see you again, of course, for another video soon. If you like this video, please thumb it up below. You can also share, and uh, you can fave at the uh, the bottom left. You can share through to Facebook if you wouldn't mind. That helps if you know other people who like The Walking Dead. Then uh, share through for me. It helps me out. And if you're new and you want to subscribe, you want to see more reviews uh, of the comic book series as well as the Walking Dead television series, I cover them both, always always have, since they pretty much since I started here about uh, five or six years ago at this point. That's it for this video. I'll see you guys again real soon. As always, this is Trev. I'm saying peace. See you guys.